the aviation sector in India is booming. Large number of planes are required for carrying passengers. Alongside, you also need trained pilots. Behind me is one plane which can help in training pilots called Hansa New Generation. This has been designed by the National Aerospace Laboratories in Bengaluru, part of the Council of Scientific and Industrial Research. And I have with me Dr. Abani Ringu. He is the chief designer for the Hansa New Generation plane. So how many Hansa New Generation planes would India need to keep up with the booming aviation sector to train hundreds of pilots which we need? Uh, our uh, the uh, it's around 200 odd aircrafts are required for uh, next to five to six years uh, the time uh, to meet the requirements of our country. And how many are there today? Are where are our pilots being trained, and where are the planes which are training the pilots being made? Now basically, uh, now we are we don't have any indigenous aircraft. So Hansa is the first indigenously developed uh, uh, the trainer aircraft. Till now, uh, India is importing uh, aircraft from either Europe or uh, 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 USA. Uh, these are all very costly, these are all four-seater aircraft. So that's the reason we have started this development of uh, uh, trainer aircraft called Hansa NG to make it affordable to our Indian market. Now, give me the basic parameters of the Hansa new generation plane. What is its weight? What does it cost? How many people can it fly? What is the fuel efficiency? Yeah. Basically, this comes under very light aircraft category. Uh, it weighs, uh, it is 750 kg is the max all up weight of the aircraft. It can carry two passengers. That means uh, one pilot and one instructor. As a, basically, it is aiming for the, uh, the pilot training, so it can carry two passengers. So, the efficiency, now we are using advanced fuel efficient engine called Rotax 912 ISC Sports. Uh, it can give around 12 liters per hour. So one of the best in the class of the aircraft. Now, how much would a plane like what you see behind me yeah. cost? So we are aiming it around 2 crores. Okay, whereas uh, the imported aircraft like Cessna or uh, uh, Diamond, DA-40 or uh, Cessna 170, it costs more than uh, four and a half crores. So, so e essentially you are catering to the needs of training Indian pilots in India in Atmanirbhar fashion? Yes, exactly. The main motto behind development of is uh, keeping a government initiative called Atmanirbhar. We started this program. So uh, uh, in now it has been certified by DGCA. Last year we got a DGCA certification. Uh, now we are uh, uh, planning to productionize. Already we have floated, uh, floated a EYN in the uh, national uh, dailies. Uh, we are getting good response uh, uh, from various uh, uh, the manufacturing companies. So uh, we are expecting a good market for this in future. So will the pilots in India accept this plane which is made in India, made for India? Definitely. Uh, till now uh, we have got good response from various pilots. We have flown it. One of the major uh, USP, if you say handling qualities are very good for this aircraft, okay, mm -hmm. that is the response we have got. In addition to that, we try to bring a lot of new features. Uh, we are providing a glass cockpit and uh, the cabin spacing also very wide, almost like any four-seater, it's around 44 inches the cabin space. So uh, the response is good. You're happy with the plane behind you? Definitely, it's our baby. <laughs> So that was Dr. Abani Rinku telling us that the Hansa new generation is a plane which can help train Indian pilots in India and the money being spent on training pilots abroad can be saved and India can help save money by making the plane in India. At the National Aerospace Laboratories in Bangalore with camera person Govin Pallav Bagla for NDTV.